welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, September the 14th. It's the 14th Sunday after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 84, Job chapter 38, verse 18 to 41, and a canticle from Isaiah chapter 45, verses 17, 18, and 22 through 25. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95, uh, and we'll sing it to the tune of St. Columba. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! How lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. Alleluia. Psalm 84, and please recite it together with me. Alleluia, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. My soul longs for your courts. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. The sparrow has found herself a home, and the swallow a nest for herself. She lays her young beside your altars, O God of hosts, my ruler and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in your house, they praise you forever. Blessed are they whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion, who passing through the bitter valley make it a well, the rain fills the pools. They go from strength to increasing strength, every one of them in Zion seeing God. O Most High God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Behold, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a servant in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For you are a sun and a shield. You give grace and glory. No good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly. Blessed are they that trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. Alleluia. A lesson from the book of Job, chapter 38, beginning at verse 18. And then the Most High answered Job out of the whirlwind. Have you comprehended the expanse of the earth? Declare, if you know all of this, where is the way to the dwelling of light, and where is the place of darkness, that you may take it to its territory, and that you may discern the paths to its home. Surely you know, for you were born then, and the number of your days is great. Have you entered the storehouses of the snow, or have you seen the storehouses of the hail? which I have reserved for the time of trouble, for the day of battle and war? What is the way to the place where the light is distributed, or where the east wind is scattered upon the earth? Who has cut a channel for the torrents of rain, and a way for the thunderbolt, to bring rain on a land where no one lives, on the desert which is empty of human life, to satisfy the waste and desolate land? and to make the ground put forth grass? Has the rain a father, or who has begotten the drops of dew? From whose womb did the ice come forth, 
and who has given birth to the hoarfrost of heaven. The waters become hard like stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. Can you bind the chains of the Pleiades or loose the cords of Orion? Can you lead forth the Nazareth in their season, or can you guide the bear with its children? Do you know the ordinances of heavens? Can you establish their rule on the earth? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds so that a flood of waters may cover you? Can you send forth lightnings so that they may go and say to you, Here we are. Who has put wisdom in the inward parts, or given understanding to the mind? Who has the wisdom to number the clouds, or who can tilt the water skins of the heavens when the dust runs into a mass and the clods cling together? Can you hunt the prey for the lion, or satisfy the appetite of the young lions when they crouch in their dens, or lie in wait in their covert? Who provides for the raven its prey when its young ones cry to God and wander about for lack of food? Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, but Israel shall be saved by God Most High with an everlasting salvation. Alleluia. Uh, let us recite the canticle together. Alleluia, but Israel shall be saved by God Most High with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded to all eternity. For thus says our God that created the heavens, Look to me and be saved, all ends of the earth, for I am God there is no other. Unto me every knee shall bend, and every tongue shall swear, and only in me are righteousness and strength, and to me all people shall come. And all that are incensed against me shall be ashamed. In me all the children of Israel shall be justified and glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.